Well, guys, hopefully you're getting this, and uh, I'm doing a little live stream here to give you guys an update. Um, YouTube has banned comments on the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Uh, if you've been following this last week, there was um, uh, some YouTuber posted something claiming that pedophiles were watching harmless videos containing children and and uh, making dirty comments and and sharing them with other sickos. And, and uh, this got picked up by BuzzFeed and some advertisers made a stink. And um, about Tuesday or Wednesday last week, um, uh, YouTube uh, turned off the comments to both my Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel because of, um, uh, because you know, I have my, my children feature in the videos. And what's interesting is they did it to the entire channel, not just the videos that, that Tommy and Nathan are. Um, well, when they did this last week, um, all they did was change the settings. And so uh, it was annoying, but we went in and changed the settings back. Um, and it was relatively fine. It was also strange. They uh, also appeared to have been some glitch in their system that turned off monetization for both my channels as well. But I just simply turned it back on, and and it seemed to, to be okay. But at any rate, um, about yesterday night, they they again turned off the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel's comments, um, and I cannot turn them on anymore. They permanently, or at least without ability to do anything about it, turned it off. Um, so I cannot receive comments um, or or anything as of uh you know thursday night all right so uh um and this apparently has nothing to do with um as far as i can tell i've gotten no information and my youtube liaison has not returned my my emails and there was a link to a to a public statement that was very vague but my understanding is the only reason they did this is because i have children my children feature in many of my videos, but they did it to my whole whole channel. Um, uh, and it's uh, um, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm I'm hoping that it's just a temporary stopgap measure until YouTube finds a better solution, uh, something to just keep their advertisers happy until they do a better. Or thing, but I can't. You guys leave me. You can't leave me messages on the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Now, remember though, we do have a Facebook page. The Outdoor Boys and Cats and Car both have their own Facebook pages, and we both have Instagram accounts. I have a Twitter account too, but I never use it. Yeah, I don't, never understood the purpose of Twitter. But uh, anywho, um, uh, so please, you know, I'll, uh, post stuff. I I, I post uh, multiple times a week on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. So, um, uh, and and you can you can communicate with with me there. Um, but I know a lot of people are wondering what's up with that. You know, why are are um, why are our our comments being disabled? You know, if it's you know me not wanting to listen to my I. Uh, um, you know, you get no, 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 it's just this how it is. Now, the other thing I wanted to do this live stream is I wanted to see whether or not. Well, thank you very much, Alan Walker. I this is exactly what I wanted to see. I am seeing your comments, and I wanted to know whether or not comments on live streams have been disabled as well. And it looks like they haven't, so so far, so good, though that could change anytime. Now, once I post this video, my suspicion is that after the live stream people won't be able to comment but i don't know uh, i will continue uploading videos um uh and uh uh so you know they're, they're having to demonetized anything as far as i can tell so i'll continue to upload i've got some great videos coming i've got a metal detecting video that's pretty fun um uh coming up on the outdoor boys channel and my channel the catfish and carp channel. I've got some great ones. Um, I comments are scrolling by a little fast. I thought I might have seen Mike Chavez as there. Um, yeah, Mike Chavez is a great friend and fellow well, fishing YouTuber, and uh, he and uh, many of our other uh, colleagues uh, will be featured in a video. 
I'm on pins and needles, though. I have a great catfish and carp video I want to show you guys. Um, hey, thank you very much. Uh, uh, that is uh, uh, Ancient Tree Grove Ghost. Thank you for your for your support. I appreciate that. And and uh, I went to the catfish conference. Oh, what was it? Uh, end of February. And uh, we did a really fun video. I brought a bunch of European carp gear. I thank you, Tim. I appreciate that. I brought a lot of European carp gear to the catfish conference and I got to sit down with Chris Flores and Mike Chavez and, and uh, Luke from Northwood Angling and a bunch of other uh, uh, cat fishermen and some fans. And I got to uh, I hand them this European carp gear and do a cat fisherman react to uh, European carp gear or uh, video. And it, I, I wasn't 100% sure how it was going when I was filming it, but when I got done with the editing, it, it just absolutely busted me up. Um, uh, Dylan, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. So super fun video on catfish and carp. So if you guys don't know, um, in case this is just some Outdoor Boys YouTube channel fans here, I have two channels. I'll, I actually have several others, but two that, um, that are this kind of genre. I have a fishing uh, channel called catfish and carp and i have uh the outdoor boy channel hey mike oh mike chavez was one of the best people interviewed on that whole thing he was his, he, he made the, the video him and chris flores and peter are, uh, were hilarious um terry uh uh, uh terry with monster hunt holders is great too um oh hey thank you i i appreciate all the support guys um you know i'm it, it always makes me nervous. You know, I, I see all the time people posting, especially here in the outdoors uh, sporting and genre. You know, a lot of us are, are concerned because, you know, YouTube is taking certain stances on gun videos and uh, uh, hunting videos. And, and there's a lot of anxiety amongst YouTube creators who are fishermen and hunters and gun enthusiasts and other similar genres that, you know, where they're being demonetized. And, uh, um, somebody asked what the other channel is car called catfish and carp, but, uh, um, uh, it's, and, and I have been fortunate. I have about 600 videos that I've uploaded between these two channels. And then I have another almost a hundred videos that I've done on my law firm YouTube channel. Um, and, and I, I've only have one video that has been demonetized out of 600. And I have hunting videos. I have uh, a few videos that feature guns and shooting. I have some trapping videos, you know, um, all that stuff. Uh, and, I, uh, and I've only had one, and that was the video that Tommy did. It's got over 10 million views on the Outdoor Boys channel, um, where he rode his bike down the driveway, and we did this kind of fun little clickbait thing where we had Tommy covered in stage blood lying on the ground like he'd been horribly mangled in an accident and they said that the the thumbnail because it looked like a child had been injured seriously injured um it violated their monetization policy and that's the only video that I have that's been demonetized so all the hunting videos I did a squirrel hunting video and I butchered a squirrel and everything and uh thank you Sean very much for that donation thank you um so for, for those of you creators out there that are worried about it, my, they, they aren't the, the problem with YouTube is they, they, the rules are evolving, all right? And because they're evolving, it makes us all nervous about what's going to happen next. But also it's made YouTube so they aren't very specific. They've also been a little bit vague so that they can change their mind, you know, oh, if something weird comes up. Um, and... Uh, and, but but one of the things that I've noticed is if you kill an animal on camera, you uh, kill an animal, not a fish or a crustacean, but an animal on camera, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, there's a gentleman who runs a, a YouTube channel where he just does mouse trapping, where he catches mice and mouse traps, and I've heard him made that comment as well. And I when back in 2017, when this whole demonetization thing started. I had a video on how to catch and cook blue crabs and we went out and caught crabs and then we dumped them in a pot and boiled them up and ate them and it showed the crabs being dumped in the pot and that video was demonetized and I appealed it. And I've had a lot of videos demonetized but you appeal it and in a day or two they, they re-monetize it. It's just the, uh, the, the computer program's mistake type thing. And I, I appealed that one and they did a human 
uh, uh, review and they said, nope, that violates our policy. And for six months, that video was demonetized until um, the fall about, you know, you know, six months later. And then out of the blue, without me doing anything, it was re-monetized. And I think that was an example where there are no killing animals on camera policy. They, they extended that to crabs being boiled. And then, um, and then they had an internal change in policy and went back and undid that demonetization. Um, so oh, I think that's... You know that's kind of some of the evolution we're seeing, and of course, as sports fishermen, I'm very, very concerned that one day they're going to decide that that harming fish on camera is animal cruelty, and demonetize it. And that's a real that's a real concern, and that could happen. But I don't know; it could not. It could either way. Um, and, and it's a it's a shame too because there's people like me where you know I could do YouTube full time if I wanted to. But I will, I, I'm not going to because I have three small kids and a wife. Thank you very much, guys. Tech and Toys and, and uh, Sorrento. Oh, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. But I, I'm not going to do YouTube full time because any moment I could wake up and my channels could be gone and the money from them could be gone. And then what's my wife and kids going to look? I've built a law firm, I'm a senior partner at a, a law firm. I, you know, it's been good to me and, and uh, I can do both YouTube and the, the law firm stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm just not going to, to give up that and walk away from that to, to do a job that could disappear at any moment without any explanation or justification. And, uh, and it's, it's too bad because I know a lot of, um, a lot of you, oh, uh, would, would like to do professional YouTubing and this has got to give people pause, you know, and, uh, there's a lot of, you know, it's a significant investment in time and energy before it becomes profitable. And if you're going to work two, three years on building a channel with the hopes of doing this full time, you must realize that it may not be there two, three years from now. Um, but, uh, um, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. There's, uh, you know, I'm not as pessimistic as people are. Um, you can still have uh, guns and hunting videos and be monetized and do that, but there are some very specific lines. And if you cross them, YouTube will demonetize you. I know a Demolition Ranch, I've heard him mention uh, several times that his gun uh, bullet making videos were demonetized. So for some reason, making custom bullets uh, where he'd pack shotgun shells full of random crap and shoot it out of a gun to see what happens. Those videos got demonetized. Um, uh, so, you know, there's some really weird, unspoken, unwritten rules. Uh, and you kind of have to figure them out either by being so big that you can call up YouTube and get somebody on the phone to tell you. Um, uh, or you have to, hey, thank you very much, uh, Canuck. Appreciate that. And five Canadian bucks, too. We got international currency, man. Thank you. Um, uh, so you either got to be big enough that you can pick up the phone and call YouTube or shoot an email and get a live person to respond to you, or you got to do trial and error. Uh, but there are very specific rules, and if you know what they are, you can, you can stay out of trouble. Um, but... The, the main point of this this live stream, and it's not going to be terribly long, is is uh, I just wanted to, to let you guys know that I didn't turn off the comments on the Outdoor Boys channel. Uh, to also warn you that this could happen at any hour, any moment now. Cats and carp could be, hey, their comments will turn off. I expect it will be, um, probably, you know. I just think they, for whatever reason, their computer hasn't gotten around to it. You know, maybe because it doesn't have the word boys in the title, you know. But, uh, um, but at any rate, so if that happens, please, you know, oh, make sure you guys, guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram so that we can, we can go back and forth. Um, if this continues long term, you know, my rod giveaways and all my contests will have to be on Facebook. Um, I'm also going to be posting um, some posts in the comment, uh, the community section of my YouTube channels to kind of experiment and see if I can still get feedback through that. So I'm going to try to post something um, on that as well, just to experiment and see what what features still work and what um, <laughs> Luke will do a hunting broccoli video. <laughs> nice. You can butcher it on camera and then like fuzz the roots out and stuff, you know, and 
have like green stuff squirt on my face. I like this hunting broccoli. Okay, I might I might table that. Actually, guys, I've got some a lot of really kind of controversial. Oh, hey, thank you. I got some pounds from Lee. This is a very international live chat. I appreciate this. Cheers. Oh, and Lee, hey, make sure you watch that American fisherman responding to British carp gear video on cats and carp probably a week from tomorrow. You're gonna enjoy that. That's gonna it's gonna be great. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I've got some. Oh, I got a video right now that is so freaking funny that I don't know if I can post it though. It's a little little dark, and I know a lot of parents watch my videos with their kids, and so I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin that. Um, but I, I I can't I did a, I got a video that's like half done. It's called the Momo Fishing Challenge, based off this internet hoax. You know the the Momo internet ho it's basically this really creepy dark thing about this 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 uh, um, creepy character that tells kids to do self harm and stuff like that. And it's it's a really horrible thing. Fortunately, it's not a real challenge. No one's really actually doing it. But um, I decided to do a spoof on that, making fun of it, and basically do the Momo fishing challenge, where basically Momo comes and tells me to do uh, these really bizarre fishing challenges and do a little skit with that. But and it's actually really, really funny. But um, and also I have a big bag of severed python heads for my python hunting video that I want to go catfishing with, and so I figured I could mesh those two together. But I don't know if I want to go there after 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 this. Um, Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to put links in the video description for my Instagram pages and my Facebook pages for both both channels, guys. So you can uh, you can see that. Um, uh, any rate, um, uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm not sure what's up with banning the comments. And uh, it seemed to me like a much more reasonable solution. Um, was there's a feature when you create a channel, you can have comments either posted or you can have comments turned off or you can have comments held for review. And I do this on my law firm channel because I don't go in and, and follow it all the time. I don't go and check in every day. Um, and so you can have it where all the comments are held off until you approve them and then post them, which seems like this is the great solution that just automatically turn my comments into held to review. And then that way, no, no sickos get, get through. Hey, thanks for DKK17. I don't even know what that is, but thank you, Angelise. Oh, um, so any, um, what's my law firm channel? My law firm channel is boring unless you've been arrested for DUI, but it's a uh, Nichols and Green. Okay? But, uh, um, uh, so at any rate, I, I thought that would have been a much much better solution than just turning off comments altogether. And and I don't know what it is because I follow I I if you guys notice my um my uh my channel I monitor comments very carefully. I try to keep the comments as family friendly as this channel so that you know people don't have to worry about uh uh Danish crone. Well thank you Angelis I appreciate that. Um so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I watch I, I, every comment that's posted, I read. I can't respond to them because I get like 300 a day. So, I mean, I just physically can't respond to all of them. But I, I filter them aggressively. You know, I, I mean, and I, communist China ain't got nothing on me when it comes to stifling free speech. But, um, uh, yeah, anybody, anything dirty or using swear words or nasty or who annoys me too much, I just get rid of them. And I usually do that multiple times a day. I go through and check it. So there's been no issues with dirty comments coming up. But still, here I am. And they are even doing it on videos when there's no kids in the videos. But what can you do? So um, uh, I'll keep you guys up to date. I, I'm, I'm hopefully we'll hear back from my YouTube liaison about what's happening. But in the meantime, I want to let you guys know uh, that I'm not ignoring you, that this is just something that's happening for right now. And... Uh, also, we've got some fun videos coming up. So, uh, oh, yes. Oh, what? Why, hello. What's what's this? <laughs> yeah, that's coming out soon. Um, yeah, we've got some, some more fun videos. And uh, I've got one that I'm working on, too. It's like seven best way to destroy your kid's video game console. Let me know if you think that'll be fun to watch. I've got some great ideas. Uh, 
Uh, um, well, lawyers don't have to work on Fridays. Actually, I just got out of court, or uh, I've done three tr three cases uh, 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 this morning already, uh, and uh, I am very good at my job, and I have successfully defended all three clients, and it's uh, by and it was done by one thirty. That's <clears throat> that's why you charge flat rate, not hourly. Ah, oh, I'm glad you like the. Uh, the Yak Attack Sports, don't do that, please. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. What's your favorite thing about being a lawyer? I love my clients, actually. I really enjoy my clients. I, they're most, most people who get in trouble with the law are good people who've just made mistakes. Um, you know, I don't tend to represent uh, a ton of, like, and, you know, child molesters and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I have some experience with that. But, you know, but still, most of my clients are are just good people who are having horrible time in their life and they just need one person to be in their corner and to listen to them and help them and to just help them out. And it's really nice when someone comes in my office freaked out. E uh, ERRK25, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the message as well. Um, anyway, I just really, I, I just love it when someone calls me up and they're just freaking out of their mind and I talk to them for an hour and by the end they're, they, they're okay. They realize their, their life's not ended. They're going to be okay. And, and I get to help people. I've, and you, you, you never realize the stress that people go through. I've had multiple clients commit suicide. Um, I've had multiple people call me up and tell me they're going to kill themselves. Um, I represent me and my partner about 600 people a year um so you know you, you see it just destroys people's lives and to be able to help them and just make another human being's life um a little less miserable it's a pleasure it's a very comforting thing oh i'm going well, well, well oh have you ever caught redfish and black drum no i haven't but i'm hoping to go to the outer banks and get into some drum this spring that sounds fun i hope you go catch some great ones seth thank you very much for the donation um uh any rate it, uh, uh so yeah i really enjoy my job um you know and it's and it's great hours as you can tell you know somebody once joked that uh um being a criminal defense attorney is the best part-time job they ever had <laughs> at any rate um listen guys i've got to cut it short um i'm gonna go uh i've got to go meet a few people but uh i'm glad to see that we can still interact through live streams and stay tuned guys we got some great videos coming up tomorrow morning thanks for watching guys